Hey guys and welcome to the 11th video in the Python programming tutorial for beginners. This is a continuation from the last video where we talked about classes and object-oriented programming in Python. Uh, we went over the basic stuff and, and in this video I'm going to show you some different kind of examples with classes and I'm also going to show you how to set up a class and get, get started with object-oriented programming in Python. So let's jump into the computer and see some examples. So we're now back in the Jupyter Notebook and we're talking about classes and object-oriented programming in Python. And in the last video I showed, I, I told you like the explanation, I showed you some different kind of, of um, figures and pictures of how object-oriented programming uh, works. And in this video I'm, I'm showing you some different kind of examples of how to create a class and an object and how to use the constructor of a class. And then we can also like call different kind of methods we create ourselves on, on our objects and we can do some kind of modification and deletion of the objects and classes. So the first example I have here is how to create a class and an object. And to create a class we use this uh, keyword here class and then, we, and then we say like the the name of our class we want to create. So in this case we call class dog, dog and then we just set an attribute name which is equal to Charlie. Just hit shift enter to run the program and then we can create an object of that class so it will be an instance of that class and we do it with we have a variable name here called object dog and we then we set it equal to um, like the dog uh, with these parentheses here where we call the, like, the class and we create an object so to access the, the, the attributes of a class we just set a variable here and set it equal to the, the dog object we created up here and then we have the dot and name so this is the way we uh, um, access an attribute of, of this class and we can then just print out um, the doc name here which is indeed Charlie which was declared up here so when we're talking about classes and, and objects we can also have an a constructor when we are when we are um, initializing our object we can have a constructor so we have to give some some kind of uh, arguments to our class when we initialize it like here so in this example we, we, we have a class here called person and then we use this def init function here which will be the constructor of this class so every time we create an instance of this um, of this class here this function init will be called so then we can pass different kind of uh, parameters here to the to the to the constructor so in this case we have like the self which is just the, the object of the class of the class and then we can uh, give it a name and an h as, as a default. And then we can see here that say here that self.name is equal to the, to the name we give up here, and self.h is is uh, is the h we give up here. So so these are like um, default uh, things that we give to the constructor, and it will be initialized with these kind of um, with these kind of names and h's to our person class here. So we create an uh, we create an object here called person, and we just call it like person with uh, the name name attribute up here, like the argument Jack and 23 years old. And then we can access the name of the person like we did in the last example where we just say, say name person is equal to person.name and the age of the person is equal to person.h. And we can just print this out and we'll, it will give like the name is Jack and the age is 23. So when we created this object, we initialized the object with, with these um, arguments here. So that's pretty much it. Um, um, with the constructor regarding classes, we'll talk about a bit, bit more about the constructors and we're also going to use more uh, constructor in later videos because then we can like have a specific in, in, initialization for every object we create. Um, we can also call methods methods on in our classes so we can create our own methods for for example if we have a, had a person we want to have a method that could print out the name or something like that or yeah, or if we had some other like matrix class or something like that, we're gonna have like different kind of um, operations you can do on, 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 on matrices and stuff like that. So in this case, I just have the, the class uh, person again, and we have the um, constructor up here, which was the same as in the, the previous example. And then we create our own function here called print name, and the only um, parameter we give it here is like the object, so no parameters is needed here. And then we say that the name is just equal to self the name, and then we print out my name is and the name. So we create an object here with the person uh, Jack, 23 years old, and we just call the method we have created in our class. So person dot print name, 
and indeed it will print out my name is Jack, which is which is correct. So it's possible to do different kind of methods in classes as well, and it's very useful and um, when we're going to use it in later videos. The last example here is modification and deletion of objects and classes. And in the first example here, we have the, the person class again, which is just the same as the previous example. And then we can go modify the object attribute down here. So if we say we initial, initialize this person object here with uh, with Jack and 23, we print it out. Then we can modify the, the ad object attribute by just calling like the person the name and then set it equal to something else, in this case, Jackie. And if I just print it out, we, we will see that, that first this person has the name um, Jack and then we modify the object attribute and the name will now be Jackie. So, so that's how you can like modify an object attribute. Um, yeah, and then we have another example here where we can delete an object attribute the same, it's still the same class as, as the previous examples. But then we can le delete an object attribute if for example had some kind of attribute we didn't want anymore like in, in gender in, in a person, like we didn't want um, a specific gender for a person, like we could delete that attribute. In this case, I'm just deleting um, the name of the person here. So first we initialize here and we print out the name as of Jack, but then we delete the, per the person's name. And if we try to print it out again, it will make an error because the person object has no attribute name because uh, obviously we just deleted it. The last example I have here in this video is we still have the same class here and we're going to delete an object. So if, if, if we're not going to use an object anymore or, or something, something else, we're, we're going to use this in, in other videos as well. Because if you're, for example, opening up a camera in a class or something like that, you have to like delete that camera afterwards to release the resource. resource. And to delete an object, you just call the del keyword here and then the object you want to delete. So we delete object. And if we, first of all, we try to print out the person um, person object up here we that we created. And then we delete the person and we try to print it out again. So we'll get an error because we just deleted the object here. So name person is not defined. Um, but it printed out person up here first, which is just a main person object at some location. And then we delete it and we get an error because it is not defined anymore. So yeah, that's pretty much it for like the examples in classes and object or programming in Python. In the next video, we're going to talk about inheritance where we can um, have classes and then we have subclasses of the as a super class. And yeah, we have been going over the, like the basic stuff about classes and object or programming in this video. And it's, it's very important uh, like concept to, to, to learn and also know in, in, in programming general, not only in Python. So thanks for watching this video guys. Remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video and also like the, the video to, to show the YouTube algorithm that you like this content and you want more of it. And also just to like help me grow this channel so we can build an, a library where everything is stored together. So I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.